Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing great. So welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what you waiting for? It's super cool here. Um, and then when you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I have hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials on my channel. You know, they're all free to watch. And, um, but if you don't, you know, if you want to learn to crochet, they're, they're really easy to follow. But if crochet isn't your thing, maybe you're a knitter or, you know, I got lots of yarn content. I like to show people new yarns uh, and places to get um, good deals on yarn. And I just like to talk about yarn in general. So it's the best of both worlds on my channel. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to show you some yarn that I got. And I think that it's, they're very um, nice um higher end yarns at reasonable prices i like to you know show that to not only big big box store yarns but also where you can get some because some people prefer our higher end yarns um at reasonable prices so if you are new to my channel you may not know but if you are not new you probably do know that one of my favorite online stores to buy from within the united states is little knits um they have um high quality yarns at very discount discounted prices um some of them are yarns that are going to be discontinued or maybe colors that are going to be discontinued or yarns that are overstocked and they just had too many you know uh, the company did so they the they sell them at you know discounted prices which is awesome i mean i really can't find too many stores online that can beat little knits rarely i do sometimes but rarely i can find a store that can be a price from little knits so i just wanted to show you a few yarns that i purchased uh, it was a while ago but they do still have them on their website and they are gorgeous and worth every penny that's what i always say <laughs> um so let's go ahead and start off i won't take up too much of your time um okay so this is called fleece artist uh mineville wool project i hope i said that right it's hand dyed um 100 wool that is machine washable but of course you'd probably want to lay it flat to dry it's very pretty but i love wool so much um and it is a four weight yarn it's 100 percent wool 180 meters so approximately um close to 200 yards on that and that's just a guess off the top of my head but uh this is what this is one color they have now this one is called uh bor bor boreal isn't that beautiful those are so my colors i love earth, earth tone colors but this is beautiful hand dyed wool beautiful i believe it's from canada yeah nova scotia beautiful beautiful job of hand dyeing that now the price on these smells like wool i love the smell of wool it smells so good is so remarkable now <clears throat> remember these are hand dyed yarn sometimes hand dyed yarns can be very expensive but here's their four weight it's not a bad four weight it looks pretty good it feels like it might have a little stretch to it which is always nice um these normally run at a regular price 17.99 a hank little knits has them for seven dollars and 20 cents a hank now you really cannot beat that price for a hand dyed wool yarn it is beautiful now it does feel like wool a little bit but it's not bad i it's not super scratchy it, and it's beautiful i would make a scarf and hat out of it i mean of course i'm, I'm probably going to um it looks it appears that these went on sale um maybe a couple weeks ago i have had them for a little while but it appears that they have about six colors of this left um, and I know some people have told me they have found little knits to be a little bit hard to navigate and I will be honest I did it first but I've 
navigated it so much now because I sign up to their mailing list and they have great deals all the time that it's very easy for me to navigate. But I'll tell you what, if you look in the description box of my video, I will put the link to each one of these yarns that I show you. That way you can just click on it and it will take you right to the yarn. Now I'm not affiliated with them. I don't even care if you buy it. I don't make no money if you buy it. I'm only trying to share you a good deal from one yarn lover to another. So this one is gorgeous. I'll just link the the uh, the yarn. Um, I don't know if they have all the colors available yet, still, but this is one of them. Um, and then I got this one, which is beautiful also. I gave away some of it already in a giveaway, uh, six hanks of one color that I had. This one is called Torngit, I think that's right. It's another very earthy, beautiful color. I love that, it's beautiful. Okay, um, let's see, I think this is another color, oh, that's the same. Okay, well, I do have a little bit more colors of it to show you, <laughs> because I thought it was a good, great deal, and I love to use them in giveaways and stuff like that. Um, this one is called Twilight, oh, that is beautiful, beautiful, I see that still on their website, um, beautiful, beautiful yarn. Look at that blue. This one's still on their website too, that earthy tone one. That is gorgeous. I never get tired of that smell. I don't, I don't. <laughs> um, then they had another blue here. This one's called Frozen Ocean. Ooh, beautiful blue. <clears throat> Everybody always asks me, what's the color I like the least? I really can't choose because I love all colors. I don't know. All colors are so beautiful. And then they have this one. It's just super, super pretty. This one is called Bolt. I guess like a bolt of lightning. Gorgeous. It's very pretty with that yellow and that gray. I think I have one more maybe to show you. One more. Or that could be it. That could be it. That might be all the colors that I received of it. Um... They do have other colors on the site that I did not get. But that looks like all I got. But that's plenty, right? <laughs> um, yes, okay. So yeah, that's all of those that I received. And like I said, um, I'll put a link to... Uh, to which ones they are, the name of them, and hopefully the link will take you, <laughs> they take you there. Anyways, I think it's a great deal. $19.99 originally down to $7.20 a hank of hand dyed yarn. You can't beat it for about 200, oh, about 200 yards of a four weight gorgeous wool yarn. Now, not everybody can use wool, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yarns. All right. Okay, now they had um, some really good deals on Noro. Um, I'm a big fan of Noro. Noro is in the, like, I have three favorite, favorite yarns. And Noro is actually Thai. They're all, they're Thai. Noro is actually the top of, there's three favorites. Noro is one of those three. Um, and they had these on sale also. It was, like I said, a little bit ago. But I had not gotten around to really um, showing anybody yet. But uh, I'll show you now. And I think they still have these on sale. Okay, so this is called, this is the Noro, and this is the name, I cannot pronounce that. That's the uh, type of Noro that it is. So if you go to Little Knits and type in Noro and then that name, it'll pop up. <clears throat> so this particular Noro is a very, I love Noro, it's very beautiful. It's like a roving style yarn, you can see that with all those flecks in it. That's a very pretty color and it matches my hat. <laughs> almost to a T, doesn't it? Um, so this is made in Japan and it is color number 19. Pumpkin. That's the color of it. Pumpkin is what it says on Little Knits. So it's fit, it's 40% cotton, um, it's 30% silk, and 30% viscose. So as you know, that's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, feels good. It does feels nice um and it does say that you would probably want to hand wash and lay flat to dry 
Um, and there are 50 grams or 125 meters, so approximately 125, um, 100, 130, 135 yards. That's just a guess right there of this beautiful yarn. And get this price. I showed this on a live stream, but I think I said the price wrong. I didn't mean to, but <laughs> it's still a good price uh, regardless. So, and it is classified as a light worsted. So like um, a lighter four weight yarn. I think that's a pretty good four weight. Um, but as with roving, it can go from thick to thin in some spots you can see there. That's just the nature of the roving. It's a little thicker there. In some spots, it might be thin. Gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. So this Noro right here, 136 yards. I was close, I guess. <laughs> um, you can buy them by, they're sold by a pack of five. So normally um, a pack of five of these would be $60 for the pack of five. But at Little Knits, you can get a pack of five for $18. And this is an extremely good deal for a Noro yarn. You can, um, I don't see them selling them individually by the, the skein itself or the ball itself, only in the five pack. But 18 down from 60 excellent deal on the noro i highly recommend this and the hand dye both that i just showed you i love noro so i got the pumpkin color and they have a few colors of it which i will show you them real quick i didn't buy it all there's still there's still, <laughs> still a lot left um and then they have this one which the color is called spistachio very appropriate that is beautiful beautiful color in that i like that one yes that's definitely some scarf and hat making material and it being cotton silk it'd be a lot you know lighter weight than wool that's nice i like that a lot i do highly recommend it from bag o day most noro yarns are i can't say they all are but the majority of them are would be your bag o day recommended <laughs> um because i like them a lot um, and this one is called, looks like they have four different colors. <clears throat> Lemon, I guess that's appropriate name too. Still very pretty. I like, I like yellow. And they have one more color of it, which I will show you. And this one is called Grass. Very pretty, very appropriate name. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. Don't smell like wool, but you know what it smells like? Nice clean yarn. That's all I could ask for. <laughs> There's no wool in it though, so that's nice. All right, let's move on. I got a few more to show you. Gosh, I showed this on my live stream. It is so, so, so soft. It's like buttery soft. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. Now this one was a little bit more, um, pricier um as for the single single ball of it or single hank of it but it you know um it's i'll show you what it is it's puna and it's their um, um the brand is amano i'm sorry a-m-a-n-o and the variety is called puna it's 100 baby alpaca it's very very soft i mean i don't even know how to explain it I would have to say it is one of the soft, it's very soft. One of the softest wool yarns I've ever come across. But of course it is at 100% alpaca, which is a very soft wool. And it's also hyperallergenic, alpaca is. It doesn't contain that wheel um, that some wools do, or that most wools do. So um, this one runs, okay, <sighs> let's see. Okay, which 100 grams, 250 meters, or 273 yards. And it is classified as a DK, which is a lightweight three. Um, and it does say that you want to hand wash and lay flat. That's a good recommendation. And it's made in Peru. Very, very pretty. Okay, 
So regular, this is $22 a hank. Um, Little Knits has it for $16.50. It is a discount, but, you know, it's not as big a discount as everything, but it is very much worth every single penny of that. Trust me, if you bought this, you would not be disappointed in the way it feels. It is so soft. I can't explain how soft it is. For wool yarn, it has to be, like I said, one of the softest that I've ever felt. Um, but it is alpaca, and it's naturally soft. Alpaca is a soft uh, wool. There's their DK. They have lots of pretty colors to choose from, or they did. Um, the color I have here is the number 4070. Um, I... I only bought three hanks of this because um, since it has 200, it is a DK, but it has 273 yards. That should be enough to make me a nice size scarf and a hat. And man, wrapping up in that would feel so good. So these I, I won't probably put in a giveaway. I will keep them. Um, but, you know, some yarn I keep. This one, I once I felt it, I'm like, I have to keep it. It's Trust me, you won't be disappointed at any of the yarn that I've showed you, especially this one. Very, very pretty. And they have several colors available steel. Still, I don't see this one um, <laughs> anymore, but they have some that are very, very similar to this one. So, yeah, 4070. It's not there anymore. That's okay. Because, like I said, it did go on sale a couple weeks ago, and I just not got around. But they got they got plenty of colors to choose from. Very pretty. Okay. I like that one. That, you know, uh, as far as softness, that hands down beats any of the yarns that I got. I think, I think, there was some that I don't think that I've opened. I did test this one out. This is also the same brand, um, Amano, but it's called Warmy. I think that's right. Now, this is 70% of baby alpaca, and it has 30% merino wool in it, made in Peru. It is also very soft. Not as soft as the other one, but very soft still. There is scarfable. Matches my hat. One of my favorite colors. Uh, and it is a 100 grams, 150 meters, or 164 yards. Um, machine, or hand wash, and lay flat to dry. And color, um... I have in my hand is 6003 and I believe this one is classified as a four weight but let's make sure on that because I don't want to tell you any wrong information and if I do I apologize sometimes I get confused okay. yes it is classified as a four weight yarn it's a nice four weight so that's why it has a little bit less yardage than the other one. So these are normally $20 a hank. And at Little Knits, they are $14.99. Again, worth every penny in my eyes. And you would not be disappointed in the feel of it. It still feels very nice, even though it has that. Um, it's not 100% alpaca. It is 70%. It's very nice. Um, this one I might keep for myself also. <laughs> Maybe not. I might, I might put it in a giveaway. Um, a, a lot of the show and I buy for giveaways. And they have several colors of this still available. And it's very pretty. I would definitely repurchase that. Um, okay. Hey. I haven't opened this one. Let's open it and look at it. It feels soft in the bag. It's like really drapey feeling. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Is that a mono brand? That's a mono. That's a nice brand. I really like it. I can't say that I've ever been disappointed in any of the uh, a mono brand yarns that I've ever purchased. Not just these, any other before. Um, this one is called... There we go. Um, I'll probably butcher that. I know it's probably easy to say, but I don't want to say it wrong. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's read about it. 
It's 80% baby alpaca and 20% silk. Very, very soft. Still, it's very soft, just like the 100% alpaca, but in a different way, I guess. They are very both, I think because this one has a little, has silk in it, um, and baby alpaca, they're still extremely soft, and you would not be disappointed in either one, I promise you, if you bought them. Um, as far as the way it feels, it's, it feels great. Um, so it's classified as a DK, which is a lightweight number three, and there are 218 yards, um, and each hank is 50 grams, made in Peru. And of course, it does say hand wash and lay flat to dry. Look at that beautiful purple. Wow, that is gorgeous. Got any purple fans out there? I know I got one. Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. So like I said, they classify this as a DK, which is a lightweight three. That is a little light of a lightweight three. If you've ever used Lion Brand Mandala, theirs is a three weight, but it's really kind of a light three weight. So that's what I would say this is. It isn't on the thicker side of a three weight. On a, it's more on a thinner side, but it's still very beautiful. This one I probably won't be able to keep because it's such a lightweight yarn, but it is very gorgeous and I still highly recommend it. My fingers just don't let me use lightweight yarns anymore, but it's gorgeous and you can look for this in a giveaway one time. That color is beautiful. Color 5005. <clears throat> you will love it. You will. You can trust Bag O' Day 5005. Oh, the color name is called Raisins. Appropriate. Mm. Oh gosh, that's like drapey soft. I wish you need like, uh, feel a vision I wish there was a way someday in the future they will probably have that where I can put something up and you can touch it and see if that's something you'd be interested in we need to do that we need to do that um and then I have mm, one more to show you and then I'm done I've never had this and I'm just now opening it for the first time I thought it was pretty I don't think that I've ever heard of this unisono. I might have had it before once, but it's, um, let's read about it. 100% extra fine merino, 100% new wool. Okay, super wash. So it's pre-washed, super wash merino. 300 meters, or it'd be about 330 yards or so. Um, made in Germany. Nice. Of course, you're going to want, it says that you can machine wash, but probably lay flat to dry, which makes sense. Okay, so this feels like merino wool, if you've ever felt that. Now, it is a nice wool, but after filling these alpacas, it's not quite as soft as those. But it's still very nice. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, this Una, Unisano is actually by the brand... Um, Zitron and I have ha I got yarn from them. So yes, I have had it before So this is classified I believe as a sport weight if I can remember right um, Yes, they do classify that as a sport which is a number two, but you know what it's it's not bad It's a thicker sport on the version of a lighter three weight yarn kind of similar to that raisin yarn Maybe a little bit thicker in that one but it doesn't feel bad. It's scarfable. I would wear a scarf out of it. But um, let's see. Okay, since this is a, a super washer merino, they tend to have a spring to them, actually, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good. You know, like I said, I would wear it against my skin. Um, so these are normally, um, I believe it's hand dyed. Anyways, made in Germany. $30 a hank. $30 a hank. That's pretty, you know, that's pricey. But now Little Knits has it for $17.99 a hank. So that's a 40% off the retail value. Not bad. So I got one of uh, this color. 
which is color, I don't know. I don't know. I'll go back and look it up. They have lots of colors in it. Um, Sienna. And then I got this green one. I kind of thought these would all go together in one project. Um, they have they have some variegated too. I don't see this one anymore. Oh, yeah. It's like an avocado green or a yeah. And then I got this one which is called chestnut, I believe. So what do you think? Yeah. I think those work well together for a nice kind of fallish maybe 70s looking project hey i like that vintage old school stuff these are my colors these are beautiful beautiful colors i love it throw a brown in there should have got a brown they must not have had one or i would have got it either that or i just didn't have no money oh they do have a brown but that's okay these three will work just fine so that's all i have to show you today now remember i will put the links to these <clears throat> or the names so you can look them up but uh, below in the description box. I highly would recommend any of these yarns because they're all very good priced. The Noro, very good priced, and the colors are all pretty. These hand dyed uh, fleece artist wools are so gorgeous, and the price you, is unbeatable. Now, I know these uh, Amanos are a little bit uh, pricier, they're still a little bit cheaper than retail, but this has to be one of the softest. Uh, wools that have come across my <clears throat> excuse me um come across my fingers in a long time is the puna it is very soft as is the uh anya and i'm not gonna say that right but that one both are very soft but this one also that has a little bit the wormy that has a little bit of merino in it is a very nice too but yes this is the winner i think of this one is the puna as far as softness goes but if you ask me they're all winners because they're all gorgeous so thanks everybody for watching um i appreciate talking yarn with you and spending time with you and i will see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe check out all my hundreds of tutorials if you want to learn to crochet if not and you want to just learn more about yarn check out all my yarn uh, content too i have it all everything neatly organized in playlist if you go to my main channel page you'll see everything labeled organized neatly and you should be able to find everything that you're looking for thanks everybody for watching and i'll see you uh later okay i love you all stay safe bye guys